Hello there folks, Funky Cook here, aka your Lonely Achievement God, continuing our Lawn Mowing Simulator Challenge coverage with Professional Challenge number 4, the B Paddock uh, at the Crossley Riding School. Uh, let's see here. We got a 23 minute and 30 second cut time. Don't worry too much about that. We have a decent mower. Uh, the biggest thing that's going to be a concern is making sure you don't run into any of the obstacles along the way. And also, uh, obviously, overloads have become a concern now that we've reached the professional level of challenges. You do have the pro view and you do have a 45 minute or 45 currency fine, excuse me, um, limit. So... Uh, you do have some wiggle room if you do run into things, but you don't want to go full speed into a tree or something. And and so just keep an eye on that. We're going to go ahead and jump in. Uh, we're going to grab the string trimmer, and right off the bat, what we're going to do is kind of line ourselves up along the edge of the fence and just run forward. Now you're going to hit these posts that are sticking out and it'll knock you off a little bit. So I recommend having the left side of your trimmer, uh, you know, over the edge of the dirt. Uh, when you get to the hedge here, you can kind of do the same thing, except you don't have to worry as much about the hedge. Uh, you do kind of jump in. The hedge kind of, uh, it's not a straight line along that hedge. When you get to the back wall here, you're going to want to do the same thing. Uh, the hedge kind of juts out and juts back in. So it's hard to have an exact straight line across the edge, but you don't need to be exact. And when you get back into the corner by this post... Uh, again, do a little bit of a, a circle there so that your mower can turn. But other than that, do exactly what you did at the top. Kind of have your the left side of your string trimmer off to the left so that when you hit the post, you're still cutting all the grass. And then make sure you give yourself a wide berth here so your mower can turn in the corner. And we're basically back to the front of the area. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take our string trimmer and do our patented circles around the objects on the lawn so that we don't run into them. Starting with this and then we'll work on this little uh, building here. I don't know if it's considered a stable or what it is but we're going to work on it next. Uh, the the things here are bushes or weeds, so you can cut them without penalty. With that done, there are a couple of hurdles. I, again, don't know exactly what they're called for horses, I, so I'm calling them hurdles. Uh, do a little run up against... Uh, on either side of the hurdles up against it because you can't get into the center of it very easily so just run up and run left to right and then you can use the circle method around uh, the outside here so that you don't have to get too close Probably easier just to watch what I do than try to listen to me explain it because it is a little bit confusing. Uh, run back over to the tree here and do circles around it. Again, you can destroy all of the plants there. It does not uh, give you a fine for those. With that done, we just have the feeding trough over here to get. So we'll do our circles around that. And then we have a couple of trees back over here. Just like we did with the other one, don't worry about the flowers. Do our circles around it. Or our, I guess they're weeds or bushes or whatever. Don't worry about them. We can destroy them without penalty.
And with the tree done, we have edged everything. So we'll return our string trimmer and get our mower. Pause the game. We do have a 99.5% completion target, which gives us a little bit of wiggle room to miss some grass. So uh, don't worry too much about being perfect. We need to cut to a six to seven centimeter height. So we'll drop our, our cutting deck, get to seven centimeters and start cutting. Uh, as always, I prefer to cut with the left side of my mower. So that's what we're doing. Um, With the hedges, you can kind of put your vehicle right up against them. Uh, you're not in any danger of a penalty from the hedges. It's only the fencing that you have to be cautious of driving up against. So, And the terrain is very bumpy back here. So be cautious of that. Once we've made our first lap, we can just continue making laps around the uh, the area. Do be cautious of overloads as we are in the professional level now. Um, we don't have as much forgiveness for engine condition before we instant fail. Again, I try to stick to the 50 to 75 percent uh, new grass along the front of our mower. Uh, it's not completely accurate, but it does... Uh, give us a good estimate uh, that everyone can kind of point to and say, okay, 50% of the mower uh, has grass and he doesn't seem to be overloading his engine. Uh, that's the kind of uh, thing I'm I'm talking about when I, I try to say 50 to 75%. That means hopefully everyone can see that and use that for uh, their run. It should be a pretty fairly universal um, metric for you to follow along with for overloads. Uh, because we are in a timed challenge, use the tapping method instead of coming to a complete stop to uh, when you are overloading. Uh, as always with timed challenges, it's best to keep moving and cutting, even if you're cutting less grass, than to come to a complete stop. Um, we're going to go ahead and cut around this tree and we're going to do a very poor job of it there we go we got stuck on the hedge over there I think uh, not a great mower doesn't have great turning uh, but but we're going to take out all of the trees I think on this on this pass around. And with the trees done, we basically just have a couple of small uh, things to edge over here. So we can focus almost entirely on, on just mowing without overloading our engine. Again, 50% is kind of a good metric for this, uh, for mowing on this lawn uh, with this mower. And just to be clear, what I mean by that is this would be 100% grass. And we're cutting at about 50% grass. So that it kind of bisects the default position of the steering wheel there. And that way we can keep our speed up and we're still cutting grass, but we're not overloading our engine. Um, if you've been following along with me, you're probably sick of hearing that explanation. But for those that are not following along with the 
the walkthrough and are just jumping to specific challenges they might need help with. I'm trying to cover the basics in, in all of the challenges. Other than that, not a whole lot to talk about. We're going to start getting to some of these inner objects that we're going to cut around. Especially these hurdles, which, uh, again, I don't know what they're called for horses. So. Forgive my ignorance if they are called something else. We are... What? We have ten minutes left and we're almost two-thirds of the way done with our cut. So we should be able to get everything done with uh, time to spare. And we're going to edge around these hurdles now, whatever they're called.
So the only things we have left to edge are the feeding trough and the little uh, barn or, or, excuse me, stable or whatever it it may be. Maybe that's where the judges sit for their competitions. Not sure how they would see the hurdles, but hey, I'm not here to judge. <laughs> they are. Sorry, that was terrible. I'm going to shut up now. Uh, one more thing I should mention is you do have a clippings container on the back of your vehicle. Uh, even if it does fill up, don't worry about it. If, it's, if the warnings uh, do start bothering you, then you can go empty it. You should have enough time to do that, but uh, you don't really get penalized for leaving clippings behind. So, um, the the warnings might be annoying, so if they are annoying you and you want to run and uh, drop off the clippings, feel free, but you're not going to get penalized for it. Uh, you can still complete the challenge even if you're dropping clippings all over the place. So, um, as you can see, it started flashing red now. And so we're probably going to fill it up before we finish our cut. Um, if you really want to go drop it off, you can, but you're not required to in order to finish the contract. Um, the penalty from it is negligible, if it even exists, uh, for the challenges. If you were in career mode, you might get penalized uh, after the contract was over, but we don't have that in the challenges. All we need to do is get the the cut done within the time limit and get back onto the trailer and uh, so we'll never get penalized for leaving clippings behind. Uh, we're actually going to bisect the lawn here so you might have to drive a little bit slower across. We're not going to have a whole lot of time left over, so um, the good news is we have a 99.5 cut percent and not a 99.9, so we can afford to leave some bits and pieces of grass behind, but you're not going to have a whole lot of time for um, cleaning up at the end if you do finish your entire cut and still haven't reached the uh, the 99.5 progress requirement. Um, you'll probably have a minute or two left. So at that point you're gonna want to remember if you've overloaded or if you you know missed some spots with the string trimmer then you can go grab the string trimmer to finish. Uh, but that's kind of a reflection on how well you were cutting so I can't really help you determine what spots you might have left behind.
there we go. We finished our cut with three minutes left. Again, there's plenty of gr grass you can miss. Uh, but if you do happen to finish all of your grass here and you've still left a lot behind, you can use the pro view to run around the outside and see for little bits and pieces you may have missed, you know, around uh, some of the obstacles and stuff like that. But if you've gotten to your completion target, you can just drive up onto the ramp and park and leave the contract. As always, folks, if you have any questions or comments for me, uh, reach out and I will do my best to answer them. But if not, I will see you guys next time.